Hey guys, my name's Triple, and today we are bringing back an old challenge that I did almost one year ago. It won't be exactly on to date, but it will be close enough. And this is being uploaded exactly a week after I'm recording this because I will be on vacation. So yeah, I'm just, just like making videos for next week since I won't be able to make them there, obviously. So yeah. Today we are bringing back the invisible sword challenge like you haven't seen before even though you have seen it before because I did it a year ago. Even though probably most of you haven't even seen that video because most people that watch my videos now weren't around then. Except for like Wookiee of course. So yeah, if you do enjoy these Skyward challenges still, make sure to leave a like. Let's try and hit, I don't know, 6 likes. And yeah, if you stick towards the end of the video, I'll actually show you how to get the Invisible Sword texture pack for yourself because I'm too lazy to make a download link. So yeah, but anyways, people sometimes don't trust download links like Wookiee with like the Mediafire thing and stuff like that. And I mean, personally, I I don't want you guys like accidentally installing a virus on your computer for some reason. So yeah, I'll just teach you guys how to make it yourself instead. So yeah, make sure to stick around to the end of the video. And also I will be doing H F3 and H. F3 and H. Did that work? Yeah, it works. So now advanced tooltips are off because if I turn them on again, you see it says Minecraft colon compass. So if I turn that off, I won't just be able to see right there. So yeah, let's get into the first round here and yeah, hope you guys do enjoy. On the bright side with this challenge, I can't really rage on over if someone's doing way too much damage with their stone sharpness one sword because i just simply won't be able to see that they have a stone sharp one sword so maybe i'm actually doing me uh, my myself <laughs> myself a favor by doing this and i'm already getting rushed oh gosh sword 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 no please <laughs> yeah but as you can see he's he, you can't tell he's holding a sword his arm is out a tiny bit because when you're holding something, it makes the arm, like, go forward a tiny bit. But, yeah, it's, it's just weird. Yeah, luckily we didn't get a rushing map this time around because this challenge is really bad if you're on, like, Shire or a rushing map like Shire where people just rush you instantly. That's a horrible challenge, obviously, to do it on unless you can knock them off somehow with your fists or with eggs or snowballs because you have to try and search hard for this sword. And... A stone sharpness one there we go so yeah you still can see where it says attack damage and stuff like that I do have a sword in my hand I gotta remember that at all times at all costs that I'm not holding a fist this is my sword and I shall use it wisely okay let's go what's happening here wait you went over what I am so confused right now and can we get a kill with our invisible sword? Yes, we can. Can we get a double kill with our invisible sword? No, we can't because this person's hacking. What? Person's straight up hacking. K.A. Reach. Fly. This person is literally straight up hacking. Did you see his head? That was obvious kill aura. Like, that was really obvious kill aura. He doesn't even take knockback either. So two quick fire death rounds for you guys, I guess. Uh, <laughs> let's try and change up with a win here in this third round. I know it's say third time is the charm, so let's see if that is true and we can get it done on this third round right here, right now. Uh, oh, right, I have to search for the sword. Oh, there it is. That's empty, actually. That's a good tactic. If it says empty, I don't even have to search the chest for a sword because it's empty. So, okay, that saves me a little bit of time. Is there a sword? There it is. There we go. Diamond sharp one. It's just weird because you don't really think about that they're holding a sword. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not, I'm not getting killed by a person with no chest plate today. Not, not today. Oh, gosh. Eh. Eh. There we go. Oh, hi. Uh. Give it another armor. Let's go over here. Oh gosh. That was a big explosion. There we go. You get boosted. My friend, no, 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 no. Okay, we got an interpol out here. We got an interpol. We got a waste our interpol there. Ah, that stinks. So we got a waste our interpol right there. I mean, I wouldn't really say waste interpol, but I mean, I guess at the same time, it was a waste. Oh, and all these are stone sharp ones. That's why I can't. 
move around my inventory at all. That's, that's actually pretty funny. Okay, let's 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 clean that up a little bit here. Okay, let's get out there. And okay, we look good. So yeah. Okay, this guy's coming back for round two. I'm not ready for a round two. Or am I? Or am I? I am ready for a round two. Never mind. Go. Oh. Please, no cleanup. Please, no cleanups. Please, no cleanups. I strongly advise that we have no cleanups. Oh goodness. You guys know what I mean? How the arm arm is slightly slanted forward because the character is holding something. That's how you know when you are holding a sword. Anyways, um, this I absorption for some reason. Even though I have no absorption hearts, are those invisible too? Is this a double invisibility clickbait challenge? I don't know. Okay. Oh, uh, if we could land this bow shot, that'd be sick. Oh! 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 <laughs> no way! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what a bow shot! Oh my gosh! Like from across the map, we got the bow shot. That's what you gotta do in the invisible sword challenge. You gotta utilize the bow. Oh my goodness, that... Wow, I cannot believe I actually did that. I can't believe that I actually landed that shot. Oh my gosh. I was just about to report that guy. They're already open reports. Let's go. Let's open some loot chests, because, I mean, I deserve it after that. And I'm not gonna be able to open loot chests next week, because I'll be... Go well, actually, I'll still probably play Minecraft next week. Just not record it, obviously, because it would be like 10 FPS hype. Let's go, okay. But, whew. okay, let's open another loot chest. Okay. Can I just please... There's nothing good in these loot chests. Like, I have four left. Let's just open one more to finish it off. And then I'm going to end it. Or actually, I'm not going to end it. I'm going to take you guys to a part of the video that I already recorded of me showing you how to make the texture pack for yourself. It's, it's confusing. I did the outro. That means I did the outro before I even started this video. It's weird. Just see you guys there. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you want to do this invisible sword challenge for yourself, all you need to do is just make a new folder in your resource packs folder. We'll rename it to invis sword. Why not? And then you go inside of it. You get a pack time C meta, which you can just find any resource pack. It's required to make the resource pack literally work. So then you make a new folder called assets. Then in there, you make a new one called Minecraft. Then in that one, you make a new one called Textures, and don't go in the Textures folder, but there is another one in there called Lang. Then in Textures, make a new one called Items. Then what you need to do is just open whatever program you use. I use Paint.net. We can just use 16x16, 16 16, and all you need to do is, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, just simply make make the pole texture transparent and you want to save it in textures items and then you want to do diamond underscore sword then you want to save as again but then this how to do iron sword you don't have to do it in this order i'm just just doing it like this because i don't know and then you just do all five wood sword and last and probably least gold sword so then that's all you do there then what you want to do is you want to go some texture packs don't have it some texture packs do but um just find the lang folder it's in it's in minecraft and then lang and then you just copy it and put it in your texture pack and this is how you take this challenge one step further you open the lang folder and go down to where the sword is right here item name you want to get rid of these entirely so when you are hovering over it you can't see that it says diamond sword stone sword wooden sword etc because i'm saying etc because I, I don't know the other ones i just named so one two three Four, five, those are all gone. I'll just remove these because I just got a texture pack that I 
renamed the things to, so we'll just remove this real quick. And I did not want to do that equals there. Is that all of them? That should be all of them. No, there's one right here. Did I do any more? Probably not. Yeah, we're good. So you just want to save that. Be ready to go with your Invis Sword above your regular texture pack. And there you go. As you see, the Blitz Survival game now has no texture for the sword. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.